I think uh, when I was little, I saw all the films that was going on. You know, I'm born in '42, and it came a lot of music and dance and, and uh, these kind of films, where they have uh, all the fantastic clothes that I thought. I think it was films like with you know music films could be with Esther Williams or Doris Day and uh, all these kind of kind of American music films that were you could see in the '50s actually. That was a kind of inspiration, and I knew very early that I wanted to work with fashion, and that I was drawing maybe because my father is a, he was a political cartoonist, so he sat home and he was drawing all the time different things. So it came very close to me that I wanted to draw also, but I draw different things. And uh, I thought my mother could be a little bit more fancy. She could put the lipstick more often, and was very much into fashion and how to look as well. Okay, I, I remember that I would draw these very big um, skirts that were in fashion, the 50s fashion. That, uh, that was something, and I draw also wedding dresses with big skirts, and I always I draw maybe a husband or a fiancé for the, for the girl, but he, I never dressed him, I, never, I only dressed the girl. <laughs> As you say, this, I think it comes to my mind, this kind of 50s kind of this really wide skirts. I think also they have a kind of very kind of innocent look all these girls they used to do. Very often can maybe with a belt or something. This was definitely a kind of style that was that I liked in that age. <laughs> a little bit cute and childish and different. I also have also different lines. Of course, you have very, uh, very tight kind of um, dresses. Maybe with a slit or something. But also I like very much to, to think about uh, tailored things, how they are. Nowadays you also like a little bit for the Tails to come out. I've been to, into tailoring a lot, so I think that's quite interesting to rework the classics in a different way. Well, I think uh, being copying is something to, to write something directly off that someone else has done. And to be influenced is when you get inspired of something and you make your own thing. It's very clear, I think. <laughs> but sometimes it can come very closely by because I think also because when it comes to to close everything has been done I mean we have our two arms two legs I mean it's not that you can do something that people cannot wear and in that way most of the things has been done in some way so I think all things even if you drive draw like this you know have been done in a way some sometimes somewhere but probably a little bit in another way I think everybody is sampling. I mean, now I mean I've been, tra I've been working also before I came to H and M in many design with many design people, and also now we work with the guest designers and everything. And, and everybody is looking at other things, uh, second hand or or what other people are doing, and they look look at. I mean, it's sampling other things. Other. I mean, it's the way that you do the work, but you do your own things around it. And you make a combination when you do a collection, I think. And that is very important, I think.